Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 64 of our Shia Tribe campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finished our war against Musaid. And we actually usurped the entire kingdom of Mesopotamia, or at least all the Jure lands in that. Don't have the kingdom itself. I actually could, I'm allowed to create kingdom of Mesopotamia, but I don't know if it's necessary. I already have two kingdom titles on myself. What if I were to create another one? Is anyone gonna be upset? Like too many held kingdoms or something, is it possible? Let me see. If I were to create the kingdom, there's gonna be modifiers on all of my vassals that they want this kingdom, like on these ones. Desires most Eastern Republic of Abyssinia, yeah, and if I were to create Mesopotamia, that's gonna be the same on all of these dukes. So there is no point right now. There's gonna only gonna be a point to create that when I'm gonna be able to to create an empire after, right after that, but I couldn't do it right now. And also after this war, we got like all of our, every single neighbor of ours in the coalition against us. So now we couldn't do shit. And I'm I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to just sit and, I don't know, improve my economy? I don't need to do it. Our economy is just the most stable economy in the world right now. Oh, we, could, we could hold it in tournament. Sure. I have nothing else to do, so why not hold the tournament? Uh, more children educations. Yay. Oh, my son who is a genius, actually. He could be a backup for us. So, let's go and focus you like on humility. Let's go and try to make you into a diplomat. You have relatively uh, decent diplo stats, so if this guy were to die or something, uh, we could replace you with my son. So, we already gave you uh, three wives. Fourth one, for some reason, like got back or... I don't know, but... Uh, proposal for marriage for some reason got declined even though it said it's gonna accept and I couldn't find any more geniuses in the list so let's go and try to find another quick one actually starting to run low on amount of wives we could find surprisingly but yeah that should be enough for you one genius oh well, actually no two geniuses and two quick ones unfortunately no strong ones it would be quite damn useful but oh well that's fine too uh, I could press a whole bunch of the Jure claims on these guys. Oh, I actually could try to snitch or snatch or whatever uh, some lands from this uh, nice Hospitaller's Revolt while they're not... or while they're revolting. Hmm. But actually, I don't want to give any lands to these guys because they're freaking double dukes and then it's gonna be such a damn mess. If they had like Duchess that border each other, I would kind of understand it, but they should not have uh, had this uh, duchess in the first place. Could I actually revoke their duchess? Uh, I need to have a valid reason, yeah. That's a problem. Mm. Someone just usurped something from someone in here. Okay. And do I have problems with duchess again? I don't. I don't. Yeah, because we have like uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, minor revolts happening, like my duchess. And I don't know how it's gonna mess up with the uh, vassal management thing. I, would I need to transfer vessel, uh, vessels back again or not? I don't know. Uh, Master, your honored guest, has sadly perished during the events. Uh, sure. Uh, okay, I don't care, really. What's the point of this... Uh, of uh, the things for me to know, I don't know. Uh, what else could we do? Could observe Ramadan. Yeah, let's... Let's wait for this event to finish and then we could observe Ramad Ramadan. Why not? Mm. And also then we could like go and try to... Go and hatch to Mecca maybe and recover from our possession. Actually, we didn't receive any negative events from being possessed so far. So that's kind of... That's kind of uh, surprising. Okay, this was a pretty lame. <laughs> it was a pretty lame tournament, to be honest. Mm, it's already done. Hurufi uprising, really? Hurufi. Seven. Whoa. Okay, game. 
That's bullshit. Mm, oh well. Uh, we have we have like one Hurufi province in our entire realm, and they are both with seven thousand troops. Are you f kidding me? Sure, I guess I would need to use my personal armies for that. Don't really want to disturb my vassals because they are because they are gonna be annoyed. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Sp <laughs> spawn more. Sure. How many? Fr how many freaking uh, uh, enemies you or how many armies you could s fit into this fucking island? Well, we have a plot. Someone says. Against me, and I don't know who is that. Oh! That's awesome. The Yomas Vikings, a band of fierce Vikings, have established a warrior brotherhood in Rana along the Baltic coast. Based on a, a castle known as Yomsborn, those Yom, Yoms Vikings are devoted to Thor, Odin, and other Norse gods. They have broken no quarter on the battlefield and will permit only the strongest and ablest warriors among their numbers. Those that are no uh, there are those who would dismiss them as simple brigands. Yoms Vikings have vowed to defend all Norse lands, being Enroached by Christendom or other foreign religions. So it's like a holy order for the north. That's great. When the fuck we are gonna receive our holy orders? The Shia holy orders, huh? Actually, if these guys. Is there guys stuck on Socotra? Could I just ignore them? Because I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't even get 12,000 troops myself. Actually, we have 12,000 almost. And that's considering that races are not fully reinforced yet. I uh, guess I'm gonna go and fight you. In uh, E4, they actually could, uh, they actually could like teleport. I'm not entirely remember if they could do the same in here, in CK2. Let's get all of our fleets on, on place. Okay, my spy master got caught. Looks like yeah. Let's get a new one. But uh, also, how's our powerful vassals looking? There appear to be no powerful vassals on the list. Okay, I'll just get my cousin. And you're actually going to be skimming in my in my capital because I've heard that someone joined faction or uh, someone joined plot against me. So it would be pretty nice if I were not to die. Mm, my son. You're fuzzy, you're brooding, and you're affectionate. Sure. You're affectionate, rowdy, and willful. Sure. And you wouldn't care. Okay. So, how much more attrition you could suffer? Not much more. So, 12.3 against 12,000. I think we're still gonna be able to win that. Because we have tons of cavalry. Oh, do you say these guys have cavalry as well? Mostly light infantry. I think we it should be fine engagement. Even though we're gonna be having like a landing penalty and shit, but it is just rebellioners. I do not expect them to be too powerful, but <laughs> if I were to lose this battle, I actually gonna lose my army completely because it's an island. Oh. Why the armies of Mecha have not been raised? Oh probably because it's like vassal armies. Okay, just just to be safe. I'm gonna raise some vassal armies as well. Um, what do you want? Backup plot? Nope. Mm, so, population on Sakotra has been converted to Shia. Oh, so what's these guys now fighting for? This province is now no longer even their religion anymore. Mm, hmm. Okay, 200 ships should be enough. Let's go and pick up this one in Azir as well. And where else could we pick up a relatively sizable army? I guess we're gonna pick up two of these ones and we're just gonna go and engage. And I hope my cal calculations were right. I think this guy is a real traitor. Traitor, I should notify the supposed plotter. Uh, Valley Emir. Gonna get imprisoned by me. I don't give a shit. Mmm, betrothed can marry, yeah, sure. And my cousin, my heir, already have a son who is a genius. Good jump. That's what... That's what I, uh, what I like to see. 
is when my heirs actually breeding and making uh, genius children. Children. Mm, okay. 13.2 should be definitely sufficient to kill you, right? Even with half morale. I hope. Uh, leaders. I'm gonna get an Inspire in, in the middle. This guy on one side and this one on the other. Okay. If I'm gonna lose this, I would be mad. But looks like we're winning anyways. Yeah. This is just peasant scum, so they're not really decent warriors. And what we could do with you? I guess I'm just gonna execute you because you're a jerk. And... Okay, time to stand down our armies. Get our red sinews back on the mainland. And disband the boats as well. Uh, let's actually stand down all the boats from this interface because... There's still someone like around here who is not disbanded. Uh, what all of that bullshit? Yazidi uprisings. Some rebellions happen in my vassal lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More children require education, of course. Who who else could choose the educator for them if not the ruler of the entire realm, right? Mm, I'm threatening. Yeah, I am aware of that. And this is bullshit as well because now I need to like stay at peace for 100 years. And this is definitely what you're doing, Crusader Kings too. I have finally become an expert in uh, jurisprudence. Awesome. Learn and plus three, vassal opinion. That's cool. Now I actually could fo uh, change my focus, I think. So how about I'm gonna do this? Yes, I am allowed to do this. Let's go and focus on hunting. Just to get ourselves some extra martial and some extra health. It's always useful. Uh, oh, my vassal actually decided to glare... Wait a second. Emir has declared Azid Hospital Revolt de Jour War over Beirut. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, so he decided to declare a war on the... On the revolt. While the revolt against Knights Hospitalers. I guess that's a nice thing. Even though it's gonna mess up my realm borders, but... Oh well. If my vassals want to... Uh, want to expand by themselves, it's actually kind of profitable for me, so... Oh. He still needs to war with Italy. Defending against Italy and Italian Holy War for Alexandria. Really? Italy is trying to expand into Africa. That sucks. Kind of. Could Tulanids handle it? Yeah, looks like they can. So that should be fine. Um, what else could I do? I need to spend my money on something, looks like. And our personal mansion probably already done. Yes, yeah, so let's go and upgrade our target thing. Our archery thing. So. Uh, Tulin is no longer the part of the faction. I guess it's nice. And Rashtrakuta as well. I guess it's nice. <sighs> How quickly this thing is actually coming down? Uh, okay, there was something between my wife and someone else. Uh, sure. I kind of don't care, but I kind of do. Adulteress. My opinion of her is minus 100. Oh well, as long as, long as you could provide me with children, I'm not gonna... <laughs> not gonna ask what you're doing with other guys. Mm, so... My guy... Yeah, my... Court Chaplain already finished in here, or Court Mola. So... Let's go and send you where... Oh, no, let's go and try to convert this, like, holy site. Not gonna be a terrible decision, right? Uh, how far away is this guy from being an adult? Quite far. Okay. Uh, by the way, how's the convergence going? In here, nothing really changing. Even though I've ch uh, converted some of my vassals, still not quite enough. Uh, he's gonna become cruel. No, probably not the best idea. Uh, what am I supposed to do in this game while you're not declaring wars? God damn it. Yeah, you, you're you probably supposed to give education to your children. It's fucking like every damn month I need to choose something new. So much fun. You couldn't even imagine. You probably can if you're actually watching this. Uh, yeah, go away. So, retinues. Reinforcing. We couldn't build any extra retinues, right? E 
Yeah, we kind of... We kind of can't. We couldn't attack two units, I don't think, because they are kind of powerful. Actually, does Italy has any allies on their side? They have Great Moravia. Ah, oh, Great Moravia is actually pretty great. 12, almost 14,000 troops. So if they were to combine all their force with Italy, they have a chance to win. But they're probably not smart enough to actually march all the troops down here using boats. Especially considering that Great Moravia have no boats, so it would be kind of problematic for them uh, to reach this place and help. In India we couldn't attack anyone because uh, everyone is against us except Rashtrakuta and Rashtrakuta is a little bit too huge for me to mess with right now. Uh, yeah, that's boring. How's our trade post limit looking? 26 out of 26. Soon our sons gonna start coming of age. And we're hopefully gonna get some extra trade posts. Or where we're gonna be able to build them? Probably like along this coast. Uh, how's this place called? Yeah, uh, Persian Gulf. Or Gulf of Persia or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna be able to build some more along this coast. Is this trade post mine? Mm, nope. At least not one in Alhasa. Not one in here. So that's actually technically... Is it gonna be connected? To everything else, I'm not sure. We also have one in here who is from other family. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, in here I couldn't really add anything else, so I would just have to build in here. Hmm. Just improved relations with this powerful vassal. Uh, why the heck you're not on the list when I'm assigning people to the council? But you are powerful vassal when I looking at in uh, looking at that in here. What the hell wrong with you? Oh, now you're in here. Oh, it's not even you, it's some other guy. Uh, but we could make him into my mm, spy master. I hope my cousin not gonna mind it too much, right? Because I need to have my vassals on the console, because that's what the expansion demands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no more other... Actually, all of a sudden we have... Tons of vassals who want on the council, but they are all straight up garbage. So that's great. Uh, could we like place someone as advisor or whatever it's called? Council. No, we have, we have an advisor. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have, we're gonna have to just have whatever we already have. Have, have, have. Um, how? Is your war going, by the way? Zero percent. Nice jump. Mm, my daughter became naive appeaser. Cool. Don't give a shit. And my cousin have another one son, another one genius. Look at this. You need to like, I, I need to learn from my cousin because my first genius only happened after like six attempts. Or even more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Only my ninth child became a genius son. And this one is already already has two sons in a row who are geniuses. That's great. If it were to be like genius strong ones, I would be even more uh, more happy, but it's kind of un uh, it's kind of like low chance, especially considering that his wives are not strong. Also, <laughs> we could attack Byzantine Empire. We now have officially a border with them. Probably not gonna be a smart idea right now. But actually, our army size grew quite a lot after we after we conquered this Mesopotamian region, so... But yeah, we st still not quite enough to conquer Byzantine. And the Revolt Night Hospital lands, uh, Hospitalars lands ended. So I assume these guys were ended inconclusively. How's Tulnitz doing? Actually, they're also taking summon. Tulnit Holy War for Cyprus. What? What is this thing? Zahirid. I don't know who the heck is that. Mm, sure. And yeah, how's your war against Italy? 20% in favor of Italy? Really? <laughs> Probably because Tulin is just... Yeah, they have 17,000 army, uh, army. But all the... The entirety of this episode, I haven't seen them moving from this one province. So they're just not smart enough to go and engage Italy. Something is... Something is wrong with the uh, Tulanit AI. 
By the way, what's happening in the world? Surprisingly enough, West African religion is still alive. Probably because Umayyads got crushed by uh, nice hospital rush pretty heavily. Talking about Umayyads. What they are up to? We have 5000 troops. And they are defending, and they are defending, defending, yeah. They are getting torn apart. France is still huge. This thing is a mess. We have Scotland here though. And surprisingly enough as well, Germanic religion is still alive. And Denmark is actually Germanic. What? Why is it not getting converted to Catholic? I'm surprised. But for now it's actually already time for me to have a break guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be doing in the next couple of episodes. Because I definitely don't want to fight all of this mess. But we might consider doing this actually. We might now be kind of powerful enough to just fight all of them. We'll see. So. If you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.